Good morning, everyone. This is Bev from Art by Bidell, and I have a page today that I want to share with you that we're going to create using these really nice sunflowers that I found in Michael's. So what I want to do for our project is to pull two of these right off the stem like this, and then we're going to separate them. So to separate them, I'm just going to get my fingers underneath this part here and then pull on that part and take it off. So we're not gonna use that part today and we're not gonna use this part today. And actually we're not gonna use that part either, but we're going to use these two pieces so we really don't need this piece. Or we don't need two flowers, we only need one. What we're going to make is this belly band and inside our belly band is a mini journal right here. So to start this, I'd like to prepare my sunflowers here and here. I am going to take my sunflowers. Let's put our prototype aside and I want to add some gesso to them just to highlight the, the um, texture on them and give them a little bit more dimension. So we'll take our brush as soon as this girl can find it. And we don't need very much paint. I've just got a little on here. And I'm just gonna brush it across the petals of my sunflower that I have here doesn't matter if you get an even coat or whatever on it. You just want to get a little on there just to make the ridges on these petals stand out a little bit more. So we'll do that one and then we'll do this other one. All right, and that's such very little paint. It will take just a minute or two to dry. We'll put our gesso away and we'll do the, make the insides for our, for our flower. And to make the insides, I'm going to take a piece of my digital. I have one here where I was running out of ink. And so I've got some funny colors down going on down here, but I could cut out the circles here. So I have a circle punch that I used and the size of my punch is, uh, I'll tell you in just a second, I think. I believe it to be a two and a quarter inch punch. It was a little bit too big, so after I punched it, then I tore around the outside edge and inked that up with my vintage photo ink. Now I want to take my flower and I wanna add some texture to the inside here. And what I'm going to do is I have this stamp it's just a dot stamp. I believe it came in a set of four. It's from Hampton Arts. Um, the date on it is a 2002, so I highly doubt that you're gonna find, find one of these again. But you could take like an embossing pen or a wet marker and just dot some dots onto your circle and then put on your embossing powder and emboss it. I'm gonna use my stamp since I have it get enough of my Versamark ink on it and stamp it right onto my circle. And then I'll sprinkle my embossing powder on it. And then I'll heat set that. Now it's very subtle, but if you touch it, you can feel it. And you can also see the gold specks in there. So I have two of these now, and let me just rip off the edge of this. I did rip it off. I guess I made it, no, it's about the same. And my flowers are ready here. I'll set those aside because they're ready to go. And the next step I'll need to do is, I have decided that this is the dragonfly I want to use that came from that kit by, uh, who was that? That was Pix, um, no, it wasn't Pixie. It was, Rose Pixel Studio. And then I inked up around the outside edge with my 
Distress Oxide ink. I have some cheesecloth ready to go, so that's going to go underneath my dragonfly. I'm building my page on a piece of ledger paper. I wanted a fairly tall belly band for my journal to fit in. I have a piece of blue cardstock that is, again, let me measure for you. My ledger paper is uh, nine and three quarters by six. The blue paper is nine and three quarters by four and an eighth. And then the piece of digital that I have is nine and three quarters by three and a half. So I'm gonna glue, I don't have to glue much because I'm gonna end up stitching in the long run, but I want to put these in place. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the top and on the bottom of my digital piece and then layer that onto my blue cardstock just like that. So then we have that part. And then I have this ribbon, this textured ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Thanks to my friend Linda who gave me the heads up on that. Um, she sent me some of this and I'm like, oh my gosh, that stuff is wild. I have to have some. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, art glitter glue here on my paper. It's really not going to hold this texture down, but what it's going to do, it's gonna help what I put on top of it grab to the underneath. And then I have a piece of lace I want to put right along this edge here. So I'll take some glue and put there and I'll take my lace and I'll put that down just like that. And again, that's just gonna hold it until I get it to my machine to stitch it, the same with this. Now, to put my sunflowers down, I'm gonna put quite a bit of glue on the back. Now, I wanna keep the, the sunflower petals away from the top because I'm gonna end up going across the top and stitching this belly band down and I wanna leave myself some room. So I'm gonna leave myself about a half an inch and I'll put my sunflower there and then I'll put the center in there also like this. Now this isn't really gonna hold very well. That's why I'm going to stitch it. Now, if you didn't wanna stitch it, I would use, um, and I, was, I wouldn't use the art glitter glue. It takes too while for it to grab, too long for it to grab. I would use something that's a little bit quicker, maybe some three in one. Um, you know, you can check out the glues that you have and see what you think would work best for it. But it does have this ribbon and that, that makes it kind of difficult to get anything to glue to it. So then I'll do the same thing to my bottom sunflower. I'll put my center in, I'll put quite a bit of glue on the outside, and I'll put that about a half of an inch up from the bottom of my ledger paper here. Now for my dragonfly in the center, I'm going to spread a little bit more glue for my cheesecloth. And then I'll put that down. And this cheesecloth has been dyed with, uh, I want to say blueberries, but I'm not exactly sure. And then I'll put some glue onto this. It doesn't have to be a whole lot because I am going to, like I say, stitch it. And I'll press that down. Now, what we can do while we're waiting for this to maybe set up and dry a little is put something heavy on top of it. And I might like use a stapler and set that to the side while we make our mini journal that's going to go inside it. For our mini journal, I have chosen a piece of my echo print paper, and this has such beautiful prints on it here and here. I believe this is sumac and this is um, black walnut here. Um, same on the inside and same on the outside. So the outside, this part wasn't quite as pretty as the rest as far as the prints showing up. So that's the side that I've decided I'm gonna to use to decorate on. Inside, I have two pieces of eight and a half by 11 coffee stained copy paper. And it also has a fern print on it. You can see there, here it's just the coffee stain, but this one has the fern print on it. And I have inked up around the edges, pre-inked up all around the edges of these. I'm going to set them inside my journal just about like that. I have some string that I'm going to use and it is a waxed cord. Let me get my needle. And then I have a needle 
and I'm just going to sew my signatures in. Normally, I would, if I'm doing like a five hole, I'll go through and I'll measure everything. But when I'm doing a three hole and it's just a mini journal, then I just eye it up. I get my pages in there where I want them, center them in the signature, and I'll eye up the center of my, of my pages here, and I'll poke a hole through from the inside to the outside. And then, leaving a tail, I'll come up from the outside on the bottom or the top, it really doesn't matter, and I'll go back through to the inside. And then after I'm inside, I'll pull my string, and I'll go all the way to the top, leaving about the same distance from this hole here to the bottom as what we're going to do from this hole here to the top. Again, you can measure if you want. I don't feel the need to measure on small journals like this or when it's just a three hole pamphlet stitch. So then I'll go back to the outside and I'm gonna to wanna to come in through that middle circle back to the inside of my journal. I have this tail on the left hand side of my string that went from the bottom to the top. I don't wanna split that thread and it looks like that's what I've got going on there. So I wanna, let me just get that adjusted. If you split the thread, it's too hard to get it tight. So then I will come up on the other side of this string that went from the bottom to the top and I'll pull my needle up through. Okay, take my needle off. And then I will take each one of them and pull one to the right, one to the left, turn it over, make sure that it's nice and straight. And then I will secure this by tying a double square knot to it, just like this. And that ties our little journal all together. Now I am going to, when I make these little journals like this that I put inside a bigger journal, I usually don't do a whole lot to them as far as I don't go all the way out with making a major cover or anything like that. It's just a simple little journal that we're gonna have inside. So for that, I have this piece of my digital that I'm gonna to add to the top. And then I have this scrap piece of some scalloped edge basil cardstock. So I'm gonna put some glue all over this piece because um, yeah, I will be doing some stitching, but I think I'm going to go around all four edges and glue this down. And I won't press it securely yet until I take my little piece of cardstock and I add some glue to that. And I want that to be slipped underneath this, right, this piece of digital. I want it to be slipped under just like that so just the scalp is showing. Then I can press down my my digital set piece here. So then I'm going to run a stream of glue down the left-hand edge of that and put on my lace. There we go. I have a sunflower from my Sunflower 23 digital collection and I'm going to glue all around all the edges of that and get the little pieces so that it's glued down nice and securely. As it's going in and out of our big journal, you want to make sure all these little pieces are glued so that it doesn't catch and tear. There we go. And once again, I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to decide where I'm going to put it, but I'm not going to press it down yet. I have a quote. It says, come with me into the field of sunflowers. Is a better line than anything you will find here and the sunflowers themselves far more wonderful than any words about them it does not have who the quote is from on this one but i want to glue this down and i have already inked up the edge of that and i want to get it in underneath this flower just a little bit but i want to make sure that i can or, yeah this, the leaf of the flower i want to make sure that i can still read it then i can press everything down Okay, so there is the cover of my mini journal. Actually, there's the whole mini journal. We have all this nice print and color on the inside. But before I can say that that is finished, I want to put some journal lines on it. So I will take my line stamp and my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo Ink, ink it up, and I will go over these 
four pages that I've added to this journal. Now this could have been done before I sewed them in. It really doesn't matter. My stamp is just about the same width as the size of my page. So I really don't have any issues with it going over. But if you have like a bigger stamp or whatever, you might want to put some paper underneath this so that you don't get lines or whatever you're stamping with onto parts of your journal that you really don't want it to be on. So I'll finish this up. Okay, I have all the pages inked up. Now, if this were going to be my journal, I might go in here and add a little bit of color. I think some nice yellow and uh, some blue would be nice on some of these pages. And, and I wouldn't add anything that's too bulky or has too much dimension, but I might add a little bit of watercolor here and there and maybe another stamped image or something just to add a little bit of color to our pages, but it doesn't have to be. This very neutral, um, all these colors together are just really pretty. So we have that done. I want to take this and I want to do a zigzag stitch right down along here. I'm going to take my belly band. And if you didn't want to machine stitch, like I say, you would use a better glue than the, not that there's anything wrong with the art glitter glue, it just doesn't really like to hold very well onto that brown textured ribbon. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna take my machine, I'm gonna go around the circles here and then do a zigzag up here. And then I will take a zigzag across the top here to add it to my page. So I will be back after I get this done. All right, it is all sewn on to my ledger paper, my zigzag across the top. I went twice around the flower, the dragonfly and the other flower, and I did my zigzag down along the bottom and my stitch down along the side here, down along the side, I didn't mean the bottom. Now, I have decided while I was in there stitching away, I wanna add maybe one or two more collage elements on top of there. And I think that one of them is going to be a number. Let me see what I might have for a smaller number. This is pretty interesting. So if I did that, do I want to put one on each thing or just one all together? I'm thinking maybe one all together. And I have this piece left over but it doesn't show up very well, so we don't want to use that. What about a piece of tea bag? Take our tea bag and our number and put it on the flower or on the dragonfly. I'm kind of liking it up there on the dragonfly. So I'm going to add that to this one, and then I'll, I'll go ahead at some point and add it to the protocol too. Prototype that we have, not the protocol, the prototype I need to refill my glue bottle once again. There, I can put that down. And then my number label here will go right on top of it like that. And I think that is just what that needed. It needed just a little bit more. So there's our flower and our dragonfly. It has cheesecloth behind it. And then our other flower. And then for our journal, there is our mini journal that's going to go inside this. And it'll just slip right inside, just like that. There we have our page for the day. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you're having a good time with this. And if not, maybe you're out enjoying the fall leaves. I hope to get out at some point before they're gone, which we have a little while yet. They're not even at peak yet and enjoy the view. I'll probably go on a road trip and check out some leaves. You guys have a great day and we shall see you again soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.